So we got our first look at the complete Alola region in the most recent, you know, spoiler video for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So just looking at the map at a first glance, there are 13 Pokemon centers, which means there would be a minimum of 13 towns, except for the fact that not every Pokemon center is situated around town. One's in a forest, one's at the top of a mountain, one's at the bottom, so it's kind of hard to really say how many towns we're actually going to have. And a lot of these, t and it doesn't look like it has a lot of whole, you know, development. Also, each island has a very distinguishable circular stage on it. Like, what are these? Are they integral to the plot? Or does each island only have one gym leader? That would be very similar to the four gym leaders from the Orange Islands, but I don't think they're throwing back to that. At least it doesn't seem so, because judging from those little Pokemon centers, using that as a scale, there should be enough time be to get from one point to the island another that you could level up enough between each gym, though if you think about it, you know, Cerulean, Saffron, you know, Vermilion City, and um, Goldenrod, no, not Goldenrod, yeah, Goldenrod, wasn't it? Oh, I just made myself sound dumb because I can't remember what that town was, but yeah, those three gym, four gym leaders were all very, very close together in Pokemon Blue and Red, so who's to say, really? God, it's going to bother me that I can't remember the name of that town. So, who knows? But from the size of the island scaling, you know, there should be enough space to have two gym leaders, maybe even three, depending on what, you know, they do with the plot. And, you know, each island has lush forested area, but going counterclockwise, the island in the lower right has a huge snow-capped mountain, where I'd assume the Elite Four is going to be, just from the two Pokemon centers at the top and the bottom of the mountain, I'd say, you know, that's our victory road. And the island also has a lot of mist on it. There's a Japanese-looking tower, a misty forest, a desert, a lagoon with smaller islands in it, or are they keys? And, you know... There's that walled-in town that has a Pokemon Center in it. Is that, like, a military town? Are those barracks? I mean, what is that? It looks very suspicious to me, right? And then the next island, going counterclockwise, is the island we've already seen. It has lush forests, it has an open field, it has a volcano, it has an ash island, so the island is clearly expanding with each eruption. Um, then we have a third island, which... This is where a lot of the buildings are, and judging from how all, you know, the bays that are rocked in, this is where we're going to be doing our surfing. It doesn't seem like we can surf from island to island. It seems more like we'll be able to, we're going to have to take boats, and then we'll just be surfing in the bays around the island, which is fine, because that reduces the amount of water. But because there's so minimal water area, and those water areas do not look at all interesting, I just assume we're going to be diving again. This island, though, doesn't really feature too, too, too much. But then there's the fourth island, which has a giant tree, uh, South American-looking ruins, or a temple of some sort. And then, you know, it, it looks very stony. There's no way, way, other way to describe it. Stony. So I'd assume this is where we're going to meet Solgaleo and Lulanala. Uh, Solgaleo and Lunalala. Because, you know, why make the names roll off your tongue? Finally, you know, there's another island that's off in the distance that has what appears to be a giant palm tree on it. What is that? What's that about? But going back to that fourth island, you know, if that giant tree doesn't play a role in it, I'd assume that it's going to be an after game thing. Because wouldn't it make sense that th like this giant tree that's so visible from the sky is that a world tree we haven't really seen that in pokemon I is it a yigastril type deal or is it just you know typical rpg element the world tree so you know then there's the mammy floating island which i'd have to assume could be our battle tower or maybe it's our elite four area because it has one of those circular stages on top of it and it'd be a waste for a gym leader you know, why go to this floating hotel? It would have to be either the Battle Resort or the Pokemon League. Those are the only things that would really make sense here. So, I'm going to talk about each island in more in depth, but this is just me looking at the region as a whole and what to expect. I'm going to try to come up with more for each island, like really analyzing it, but for a time saver, that's all I got for today. 
and I hope that you follow my analysis series.